lights, ornaments, and the perfect tree. It's a holiday tradition. But next year, experts are warning it may be harder to find your Christmas tree because of a shortage that's 10 years in the making. The root of the problem lies with the last recession in the U.S. In the uh, financial uh, challenges we had in 2008 and 2009, a lot of the, uh, the growers were challenged to actually put as many seedlings in the ground. So mm -hmm. we're 10 years on now feeling the uh, effects of that. And is that the life cycle of growing a Christmas tree, about 10 years? Yeah, absolutely, depending on your, your sizing. Steve Watson and three of his friends have been selling Christmas trees to raise money for the Beaches Lion Club every year for the past 27 years. They've sold about 2,000 this year, and he says it was more of a challenge finding good quality trees. Next year could be tougher. How much did prices go up this year, do you think, percentage-wise? Percentage-wise, uh, I, I would say our retail prices stayed the same. On the wholesale side, I would say probably between 10 and 20 percent. And those prices could rise again next year. Christmas trees are big business. According to Stats Canada, the value of farm cash receipts for Christmas trees in this country in 2016 was 77.6 million. That's up from 2013 when it was 55.2 million. And yet the number of Christmas tree farms in Canada are falling. There are currently 1,872. In 2011, there were 2,381. That's a drop of just over 500 in six years, contributing to the pressure on prices. Best advice, remember to buy your Christmas tree early next year so you won't be disappointed. Supplies could disappear quickly. Cynthia Mulligan, City News.